be working very hard to find out how to make it happen. What we see here is a, is a simple battery and we can take the intelligence of a connected battery and internalize that and get our service delivery to a completely new level. We put out a, a challenge to a network of business leaders that all came with their unique views and points on how they see the Internet of Thing uh, possibilities for themselves, for their business, and they were able to apply that to a Snyder context. There are hundreds, millions of data points being generated every single second. None of it connects to the cloud. The IoT has a huge potential for our customers in the way that we can service him or her in the future. Big question, why should I as a customer send you my data? Mm. What can it do for our customers? It's gonna make my life so much easier in the mornings when I have to find out what clothes to wear and where it is in all my closets. So if I can pre-configure a Hanger. This is basically old-fashioned and soon all rackets, all bas basketballs and so on are going to be equipped with, uh, with uh, sensors that will actually teach me and help me beat whoever I want. My mother, she's in pension and she's using quite a lot of time playing bridge and they're quite old, all of them. And they spend a lot of time discussing who played what card and where it came from. So some kind of tracking device as to where did the cards go <laughs> and you can actually rewind it digitally playing with the physical cards, but to see who played what and what was the learning of it. We are on this quest to figure this thing out. I see it as our obligation to turn that internal knowledge around and make it uh, valuable for the customer. Customers benefit of Snyder being a big company. Well, I think the, the gamification is something worth considering, especially if you're looking at uh, not uh, particularly IT savvy people who don't enjoy IT, who don't, you don't want people to have this as a, as a chore. You want them to enjoy this. If you have a solid pain, mm -hmm. or you can solve a pain with a product, mm -hmm. then, then it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Because then you know the task you have to solve. And that was exactly what mobile pay uh, was solving. Mm -hmm. I mean, it solved the need of doing easy payments uh, person to person. So the idea is for Snyder to collect information in a community of customers. With a more holistic thinking, mm -hmm. uh, you could actually um, pool this data and you could uh, benchmark. We started out uh, focusing on, on the core business around data centers mm -hmm. and how can we tap into the optimization of, of data centers and then move into, so to say, the next layers of, of uh, Snyder's customers' uh, everyday business. Snyder has uh, more than 100 years of, of legacy in, in Working with, uh, with energy and, and transporting energy, uh, having a lot of trust in that. Mm -hmm. And if they find a way to actually optimize uh, the whole data uh, handling and uh, data management, uh, we see a, a, a huge potential for them to, to broaden that out and go mm -hmm. into other industries. It takes some pretty bold moves uh, to go down this path. Get them started and trusting the Snyder solution is something that they want to work with a worldwide community of developers and users. They can optimize uh, the performance, the benchmarking, and the low energy consumption. Based on domain knowledge, you will ask customers in a cluster of five to six pilot customers questions in which you can develop benchmarks KPIs. Uh, CO2 reduction and being more green. Benchmarking for continuous improvements. We need to be ready, we need to help our customers uh, take benefit of the technology and, and that's our mission.